Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be setting up week three of May 2021 in my A5 half year astrology for work. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so uh, like I've been doing in these videos, we'll do a setup of week three. It is currently Sunday, May 16th, so I'm gonna need this for tomorrow, as well as when I'm done with that, I will do a quick after the pen, mostly just to show you the quote and what was offered in the cafeteria for this week. And I thought since I just put up the PJ Scavenger Hunt 2021 hashtag up that I will try to incorporate it in here as this is the only planner that I actually have. And I, I hesitated there just a little bit because I don't really consider it a planner. I'm not planning anything. It's really a completed work list of, of what I've done. If you're new here, um, I don't like to plan things out. I like to know what my due dates are and then just get things done that way. It's I don't put it on paper like Monday I'm going to do this, Tuesday I'm going to do this. I just know Thursday I need this done, figure it out. And that's just how my brain prefers to work. Uh, I did have the menu because online where we can go, uh, they have the menu out already. However, they had it for last week as well and it was wrong. So I'm going to keep this posted. I'm not going to write it down until I am in the office on Tuesday and then I'll just verify that what they have online is actually what they had um, <laughs> or, or they're planning to make in the cafeteria. Just like I have been doing for the month of May, I'm going to continue with the uh, stencils that I've been using. This I picked up from Christy's shop, Christy Marie Designs. She will be linked below. And for the upcoming week, I've got some big projects that'll probably take the entire day because I do want to have some space to incorporate the five prompts for this week, which are tree, circle, word, pen, and book. But I think I can kind of incorporate that on the side here. Well, and I also don't want every week to look the same. So we won't use the big numbers. So we'll, we'll just figure it out. So let me put my three boxes on each side down. There are actually three boxes on this side and two on there. And I'll be right back. I'll do the first one with you guys, just in case this is your first video with me when doing this. And so I'm just lining up the stencil with the side of the grid here, as well as the top. And then I'll use this plastic bit to evenly space between and then just try my best to line them up. Now because there are stickers um, on the other side, some of my lines like that are not going to be perfectly straight and that, that does not bother me. This really does need to be functional. If I can also get some decorative element well, even better. So let me finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so clearly I've changed it up a bit because what I've been doing is pretty much the same format. So I have the days across the two pages, but then I have all of the additional things I like to do on this one page here. Now in these boxes, uh, I need to have space for my completed task list but again I've got big projects that doesn't probably need a lot of um, things to list. I also need to write whether I'm working from home or in the office although that hasn't changed for months and then also I like to put the menu item there. So I have this washi for the pens. That's probably and I I want to say that Andy gifted this to me. So let's see. 
because I'm tempted to cut them down so that they only fit in the actual box. But that's a lot of unnecessary fiddling. So we're just gonna do that. And the same on this side. Line them up reasonably well. And that will take care of the pens prompt. Okay. And I think underneath there I can put whether or not I'm in the office or working from home. I know there's one office meeting. Oh no, and I have a webinar. Yeah, so that, that I can use for that. And then right above, I can give myself, if there's any of those really thin label type stickers. How big is this? No. Well, no, I guess I can use that for the menu because to mark whether or not I am working from home, if there's any meetings, that doesn't really work for me, but it does work for the menu. Of course, I lost it. Oh, and excuse the cut there. Um, my cat wanted, or one of the cats here, they're not mine. They really belong to my parents. But um, she wanted pets until she didn't. And instead of using her words, she's like, no, with her claws. So I'm like, okay, I, I mean, you could have just sent me an email or something, but whatever. <laughs> I, I like it, don't worry. Okay, that also uh, works towards one of the prompts. So we've got pens and we've got words, sweet. Uh, let me put some labels at the top for the day because I, I, I do like, I mean, I could obviously write that in, but I, I feel a little fancy. <laughs> it looks a little bit more like a planner you'd see online than just something I'm DIYing. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, yeah. And I, I realize inherently some of the problems if I continue to use these for just my work week, I'm gonna have a bunch of Saturdays and Sundays, but I also have a bunch of stickers. So I might just have to figure out what to use all the Saturdays and Sundays I'm going to have left over. So let me put this and the days down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my days down. Those are from Lux Clever Crafts. And then the dates uh, actually I got from here and that's the third prompt that we can cover. So that's circles. So we've got three of the five, so that's good. Actually, I want to put a box here and it's less about making it symmetrical and more about I can actually make this as my place to put the prompts so that I know I'm actually participating in this because you know otherwise I may like why did you do any of this let's see if I can find a label sticker because I want to label what these things mean Okay, so this is what I have so far. Let me move this out of the way. I did put labels down. I flipped through what I already had pulled, but I couldn't find what I wanted. So I just pulled them from the Happy Hostess. And again, I have got circle, pens, and words. Although I might incorporate more of that right there. So what I'm missing is tree and books. And I purposefully left this space to do that. And so for the tree, I'm going to use this seasonal one. I did already have a flip through 
and I think it was in the spring or the summer. Yeah, so those trees right there. And so that, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. I actually really like that. Although I did have this teacher one for the books. Because I think there's a pile. Well, there's that. And then there's this. That's going to look a little awkward. And you might be wondering, wait, what? Okay, so <laughs> I generally like to have things look like things. Does that even make sense? So I, I wouldn't want to put the trees there and then have a giant stack of books right next to it. And I am definitely going to have more space than what I need. I'm still missing the book, though. Let's go here. These are those little girl stickers that I love. I always have them in here. Is she reading? Oh, right there. Okay. So I can put her up here. With this stack of books. And that's done. Now we just have all of that space to figure out what to do with. I wanted to leave myself a ton of space, but might have been a little too crazy with that so I mean that kind of makes sense right I mean According to this, it's going to run into the trees, but again, that's the driver's problem. <laughs> we'll put some stars. It's a very colorful spread, I must say. And I'm liking, and I don't know if it's in frame for you guys but I'm still using this seasonal one. Having flipped through it earlier, I realized I don't use that much, but then I don't do a lot of seasonal spreads. I don't do a lot of spreads, so maybe that's why. That's, that's not bad, guys. Look at that. I mean, it's super colorful, and that's really the only thing that's tying these things together. It's got all of the elements. It's very sticker heavy. And the one that's going to go up on the 22nd of May, uh, where I'm using the skinny classic in here, uh, that might not actually be very sticker heavy at all. Because I do want to show you guys, it can be anything that you have. But for this one, it's just easier. Plus, I have a ton of sticker books that I don't generally use in anything else. So why not, right? The washi works, the stickers work, and it's actually still very functional. I love it. Okay, so that's the week of May 17th through the 24th. First, there's still like another two weeks before the next holiday. Boo. This is last week right here. The quote of the week was, here's to another day of outward smiles and inward screams. <laughs> it was, it was that kind of week. It's felt like an endless year of Mondays. Yeah. So uh, Monday and Friday, I work from home. Tuesday through Thursday, I work in the office. So on Tuesday, because the online menu said there was roasted herb pork chop with mashed potato and gravy, I'm like, yeah, 
I'm not really feeling that. So I just made my own lunch um, or brought my own lunch. And then Wednesday was chili dog or no, Wednesday it said beef burrito. Um, and I had brought leftovers. And so my boss went to go and get lunch expecting beef burrito and that's when it said chili dog or that's when she got a chili dog and like wait that's not what it said online and so I used the restroom that's in the cafeteria and took a picture of the menu and lo and behold it didn't match what was online at all in fact it's part some of it is for this week let me pull that up So Chili Dog is what's scheduled for this Wednesday, um, but then Thursday is not pork and peas. Thursday, according to the menu, was chicken katsu curry and rice, which I did get. So yeah, I'm not sure where the mixed signals are getting, but when I go to work on Tuesday, I will take a picture of the menu just to make sure I line it up because there are certain things I just don't want to eat. I would have been okay with a chili dog had I thought I was going to get a burrito. I would not have been okay if it was a fish dish because I'm not into fish. And the once I tried it, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. <laughs> And so that's basically the month so far. Uh, so we are going into this week right here. This is the last full week of May. And then the very last work day of May is actually a holiday. So yep, two weeks until the holiday, which is good. And then there will be one more month in here uh, before I transition to a new one for the new academic year. I, I like, I, I think I would have liked had I used the big numbers, but I like that all the weeks are similar and yet different. It just keeps it interesting for me. Clearly, I don't need this much space to do the scavenger hunt. And I think that might be an ongoing thing. So every week, whatever the scavenger hunt list is, I'll try to incorporate this. Because again, this is the only weekly spread that I do in anything. And so if I can make it work in here, yeah, I think that's fun. Plus, it I mean, because it's been so colorful, you would not necessarily know that this is something I've introduced for this week alone just because of the colorful scheme. So it still works. All right, guys, I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you incorporated this in its own just notebook style thing or have you incorporated it into your planner? I'd love to know in the comments below. All right, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.